Dear friends, welcome back to Automate with Rakesh. In this video, I am going to show you a very important feature around computer vision check activity and one of the property called action property. And based on that, this question is framed. This becomes very important from the exam preparation point of view. First of all, we will go through this question and then we will do a practical to understand this question and identify the right answer. So let's begin. Let's carefully read this question. In a desktop application using computer vision, there's, there is a requirement to ensure the enable additional icon checkbox is selected at the start of each execution. It is telling me anytime you are running a project or a process or, a, or the workflow, every time the project executes, it should first check if this option enable additional icon this should always remain checked now here there is a condition if the checkbox is unchecked let's say initially it is unchecked then the workflow needs to check it then you should check it but if it is already checked so if it is already checked no action should be taken so this must be understood in the application if it is already checked you don't you should not take any action if it is already if it is not checked then you should check it okay which option should the developer configure in the cv check activity action property now have you seen this action property for this scenario okay now what is this action property what are these things will do we will see it practically and then finally answer this question all right for this first of all i have opened my uipa studio and in the background I have opened this desktop application. The very first thing, let me drag and drop the CV screen scope activity. And here I am going to click on indicate on screen and I'm going to indicate the entire application. Now, once this is done inside this, let me drag and drop the CV check activity. Click on indicate on scope. And I'm going to select this checkbox ensure your mouse point is exactly there on the checkbox or else you can see it is not highlighting so i'm keeping on top of the checkbox and i'm going to click the moment it clicks it understand where is the target the green one is the target and the blue one is the anchor understood now on the property if you see there is a property called action property the question is exactly asking around this now out of this three option which one should you select which should meet the condition. If it is checked, it should not check it again or uncheck it. If it is unchecked, it should automatically check it. So let me show you if I go for this check option, what happens? Okay. So here I have selected check option and the cursor motion type. This is not mandatory. This is optional here. I'm keeping it as smooth in for this application so that we can see the mouse movement while it is performing the action. Okay, so here I've selected smooth and the important property called action property here. I've selected check all set. Now I'm going to debug this. Okay, now it should work on the application. Now you can see the mouse pointer should move there and it has checked. Did you see if I open the application, it has checked it. Now what would happen? Let's say if I run it. Now in this condition, it is already checked. If I run it again, is it going to uncheck or it's not going to perform any action? Let me show you. Now I'm, let me run it again. Now you can see it is already checked. Now what happened? It did not perform any action. Did you see the mouse did not move at all, right? For example, if I run it again, see it is not performing any action. Now if I go back to the question, it is very clear and very evident even though I am using the check property if it is checked it is not performing any action if it is unchecked then it is performing action so here to meet this condition which option shall I select which is the right answer I think all of you got the answer the answer is a check I should go for the option check now as we already got the answer let us also experiment other two options let me click on uncheck and debug
this time it should go and uncheck you can see it has unchecked it clear now if i hit on toggle toggle is just that if it is checked it will uncheck it is unchecked it is going to check it that is the meaning of toggle now if i run it now you can see the mouse pointer has gone and checked it because it was unchecked so now you got the entire answer now let me show you the documentation around cv check this link i am going to pass it in the description of the video you can pick it from there now if you scroll down here is the action property specifies that the exact action specifies the exact action that you want to perform now what are the exact actions the following actions are available check uncheck toggle check means it will select a checkbox right and it's already checked it doesn't do anything uncheck means clear a checkbox toggle means switch is the value of the checkbox pretty simple okay so first it determines what is the current value of the checkbox whether it is checked or not then it takes action so here if you saw that when i go for check it first checks okay it is already checked i should not perform this action and it doesn't do any any action okay the changes are done based on the results on the screen scan in order to ensure the accuracy of the action a refresh might be required before using the cv check activity if your cv check activity fails then do a cv screen refresh okay all right guys so that is very important area that we have covered thank you for watching and write some comments in the description of the video in the comment section of the video and we are going to meet we are going to see some more questions around this in the next video